हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एड्यू टैप एंड वेलकम टू द डाटा एनालिटिक्स एम सी क्यूज विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस सेशन एंड दिस डाटा एनालिटिक्स इज पार्ट ऑफ द अपकमिंग नेशनल पेंशन सिस्टम ट्रस्ट एग्जामिनेशन ग्रेड ए एंड बी बोथ फॉर बोथ द पोस्ट दे हैव रिलीज द नोटिफिकेशन which we have discussed in already earlier and for that examination there is one uh, topic that is data analytics of which we'll be discussing some some of the most important mcqs so let's get into the session now so coming to the first question so this is a statement based question you have to tell me which of the following statements best describes data analytics what exactly is data analytics and uh, or you can say the uh, technical uh, definition so it is actually when we talk about data analytics it is a process where we examine the raw data whatever data that has been given to uncover various patterns or trends or some insights or some meaningful information from that raw data so that wo data hum log use karke we can analyze some or we can draw some conclusions as such okay now ye sab process ke liye there should be something Uh, that that is used okay and that is nothing but refers to examining raw data using statistical mathematical and computational techniques to uncover patterns and insights okay jo bhi raw data hai use dekhne se hame kuch nahi pata chalega right so from that we'll be using these uh, tools or techniques as we say like statistical techniques or tools mathematical tools and techniques or even computational tools and techniques to understand the patterns usse kya hoga based on that we'll be able to uh, take proper decisions kyunki wo data se hame kuch insights mile kuch samajh mein aaya hai ki kahan pe kya problem hai ya whatever that can be done to increase the uh, revenue etc so from that they'll be able to take informed decisions so all these falls under data analytics so in this case b is the correct answer so coming to the next question now here you have to tell me which of the following is not a direct advantage of implementing data analytics in an organization jaise data analytics ke kai sare advantages and it can be applied to various sectors or various industries and usme hai yes it can improve the supply chain management kyunki agar once we look into the data and say acha yahan se ye supply chain mein gadbad hai aur this is where uh, raw material nahi aa raha hai that is that is impacting our sales in such a manner so us tarah ka agar kuch conclusion nikla to definitely they can improve that right by taking proper decisions so this is a direct advantage so ye answer nahi hai enhanced customer insights obviously insights jab mil rahe hai that will help them again to serve the customers properly yes so ye bhi advantage hai so this is also not the answer better decision making obviously once we know the loopholes once we understand uh, uh, the insights definitely they'll be able to make proper uh, decision so yes this is also an advantage so ye bhi answer nahi hai increase efficiency now all this will lead to good efficiency ab efficiency acha hai to obviously that will have a positive impact on the returns or the revenue so ye bhi advantage hi hai reduced regulatory compliance ye direct nahi hai ho sakta hai this can uh, you know kuch aur insights ki wajah se kuch aur hum log uh, uh, implement karne ki wajah se decision making ki wajah se this can have an impact but otherwise direct to kahi se bhi nahi hai so this is not a direct advantage okay so here c is the correct answer so moving on to our next question so this is about the various tools and techniques that are used in data analytics consider the following statements about the data analytics tools which of the following statements is correct theek hai excel is primarily used for basic data analysis and works well with small data sets and simple calculations yes this is true kyunki excel jo small businesses hai unke liye bahut useful rehta hai kyunki kam data ke sath wo usme analysis wo sab kar sakte so this is very much true sql is utilized for querying rational databases and extracting relevant data for analysis yes this is very much used for that only uh, you know jaha jo database mein thodi bahut you know easy hai kya bolte presentation already easy hai kuch 
और ऑब्जेक्टिव के बेसिस पे डाटा कलेक्ट किया गया है इन सच केसेस जो रेलेवेंट डाटा है उसमें से निकालने के लिए एनालिसिस के लिए दिस इज वेरी मच यूजफुल टैब्ल्यू एंड पावर बिजनेस इंटेलिजेंस आर कॉमनली यूज फॉर बिल्डिंग प्रेडिक्टिव मॉडल्स एंड रनिंग मशीन लर्निंग एल्गोरिदम्स एक्चुअली दिस इज नॉट ट्रू बिकॉज वेन वी टॉक अबाउट टैब्ल्यू और द पावर बिजनेस इंटेलिजेंस दे आर वेरी मच आइडियल फॉर प्रेजेंटिंग द uh insights from the complex data in a very visually appealing manner so that it would be easy for the decision makers to understand so ye uske liye hai not for you know creating any building predictive models or uh, running uh, machine learning algorithms etc so here only 1 and 3 are correct so here c is the correct answer so moving on to our next question here comes the steps involved in data analytics so data analytics workflow follows a logical sequence which of the following correctly represents the sequence of these steps kahan kahan se start hota hai kis tarah se aage badhta hai simple question so here the first step that comes into uh, this sequence is the data collection jab tak data collect nahi hoga to aap analyze kya karoge right so sabse pehle aata hai data collection after that data collection aapke paas raw data hai now that you have to prepare you know based on your, uh, the objective based on the objective of that particular project so data preparation usme data cleansing fir usko formatting kai sare steps aate hain सो so, वो होता है उसके बाद आता है डाटा एनालिसिस मेजर जो ये सबसे बड़ा पार्ट है एंड हियर कम्स द रोल ऑफ डाटा एनालिस्ट ए लॉट क्योंकि उस डाटा को एनालाइज करना उस टूल्स को यूज करते हुए एनालाइज करना राइट सो वंस दे एनालाइज दैट दे हैव सम आउटकम सम इनसाइट्स या जो भी उनको समझ में आया राइट ट्रेंड्स एनालिसिस एंड ऑल दैट नाउ दैट दे हैव टू मेक इन विजुअल formats like uh, uh, bar graphs ya charts dashboards kuch bhi you know because the decision makers wo utna unko samajh nahi hai ki bas ye data leke wo samajh mein aa jaye analysis mein until less they look at the pictures ki trends and uh, jo bhi uh, patterns if they look into that they'll be able to understand right that all will fall into this uh, data visualization so this b is the correct answer here when it comes to the logical sequence of the workflow of data analytics moving on to our next question which of the following scenarios represent an example of the duplicate data now when it comes to data cleansing data formatting lot of things you have to address like missing values duplicate data uh, inconsistent formatting outliers uh, invalid data inconsistent categories etc all this they one has to look into now when it comes to duplicate data now yahan pe hum log ek bar options dekh lenge see a data set where customer's phone number is entered as this uh, in one row and this as in one row ओके ये है इनकंसिस्टेंसी सो दिस दे हैव टू चेक एंड फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्ट वेयर एन एम्प्लॉय मल्टी सेल मिस्टेकनली रिकॉर्डेड एस ये हो गया उनका गलत यू नो रॉन्ग डाटा सो दैट दे हैव टू करेक्ट अ सर्वे डाटा सेट वेयर सम रिस्पोंडेंट्स हैव नॉट फिल्ड इनकम्प्लीट डाटा सो ये भी डुप्लीकेट वाले में नहीं आता है ए कॉलम वे डाटा फॉर्मेट्स वेरी बिटवीन दीज टू सो यहां पे फॉर्मेटिंग की दिक्कत है सो दे हैव टू गेट इट फॉर्मेट a data set containing multiple records of the same product purchased due to a system error now this is the duplicate data agar ye data ko hum log hatayenge nahi ya fir check nahi karenge ya fir modify nahi karenge then what will happen the entire analysis will go wrong kyunki usi ke basis pe ho raha hai so this in this case is the uh, duplicate data example okay so let's go to the next question consider the following statements about the data issues in analytics what are you know agar issues hue hai to uska effect kya hai now missing values can lead to biased results if not handled properly obviously jab missing values se the entire uh, uh, data can get distorted kahi pe actually sale hua acche sale hua us product ka but data hi nahi hai wahan pe sahi se values hi nahi fill kiye hai राइट सो व्हाट विल हैपन दे फील दैट ओके इसका तो सेल हुआ ही नहीं है तो वो उसको हटाने के लिए व्हाट एवर दैट दे टेक डिसीजन दैट माइट इंपैक्ट दैट डिसीजन राइट सो यस दिस कैन लीड टू बायस रिजल्ट्स सो दिस इज अ ट्रू स्टेटमेंट 
आउटलाइयर्स ऑलवेज नीड टू बी रिमूव एज द डिस्टॉर्ट डाटा इंसिट ऐसा कुछ नहीं है आउटलाइयर्स हम लोग इसलिए उनको स्पेसिफिकली हाईलाइट करते हैं सो दैट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड कि बाकी डाटा से उनको किस तरह से अलग रखें एंड एट द सेम टाइम हाउ वी कैन रिच अगर आउटलाइज बहुत हाई वैल्यू के हैं हाउ वी कैन टेक दिस मॉडरेट वैल्यूज ऑल्सो टू दैट लेवल बेस्ड ऑन द डिसीशन ओके सो इट्स नॉट दैट उनको रिमूव करना है बट येस वी हैव टू हाईलाइट दम प्रॉपरली सो दैट वो डिसीशन मेकर्स को वो दिखे ठीक है और क्यों हो रहा है वो भी समझ में आए so that they can take an informed decision so this is false inconsistent formatting can cause errors in data processing and integration obviously inconsistent data formatting kisi mein date ka format ek hai dusre mein ek hai to jab analysis karne jaoge processing shuru ho jayega so it will create lot of problems sahi se dega hi nahi so this is also very much true so in this case only 1 and 3 are correct hence b is the correct answer moving on to our next question Which of the following data cleaning techniques is primarily used to identify and correct invalid patterns in text data, such as ensuring email addresses match a valid format, etc. Now, as I have said earlier, also when we talk about data analytics, in each step, जो four major steps हमने देखा है, उसमें फिर और कई सारे sub steps हैं. हर स्टेप यूज करने के लिए दे हैव टू यूज सम और द अदर टेक्निक्स एंड टूल्स ओके सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर आस्किंग अबाउट द डाटा क्लीनिंग टेक्निक्स व्हेन वी हैव वन हैज टू एंश्योर दैट फॉर्मेटिंग इज डन प्रॉपरली टू द डाटा सो इन दिस केस इट इज रिजेक्ट दट इज रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन एंड पैटर्न मैचिंग ये एक टेक्निक है दैट इज यूज टू आइडेंटिफाई स्पेसिफिक फॉर्मेट्स इन टेक्स्ट डाटा देयर बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग वेदर द एंटायर डाटा दैट इज प्रेजेंटेड इन दैट पर्टिकुलर कॉलम इज कंसिस्टेंट और इज अंडर द सेम फॉर्मेट और नॉट अगर नहीं हो रहा था दैट विल हाईलाइट दिस टेक्निक विल हाईलाइट दैट इनकन्सिस्टेंसी देयर बाय जो एनालिस्ट है या डाटा हैंडलर है दे कैन करेक्ट दैट इमीडिएटली ओके सो हर स्टेप में कई सारे टूल्स एंड टेक्निक्स यूज होते हैं Now, which of the following best practices in data cleaning ensures that the cleaning process is transparent, reproducible, and auditable? See, whenever we talk about data collection and data preparation, उन दोनों के बीच में जो सबसे important step है वो तो data cleaning है. Why? Because data cleaning अगर सही से नहीं हुआ है, that will impact raw data collection. जितना important है, उतना ही important है cleaning. ओके okay, और क्लेंजिंग अगर वो नहीं हुआ तो इट विल रियली क्रिएट हैव अ क्वाइल डूइंग द एनालिटिक्स एनालिसिस पार्ट एंड दैट विल हैव अ नेगेटिव इंपैक्ट ऑन द डिसीजन मेकिंग ओके सो व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द क्लीनिंग प्रोसेस एंड व्हेन एवर देयर इज द टर्म ऑडिटेबल मतलब वो ऑडिट कर सकते हैं आगे कि किस तरह से डाटा क्लेंजिंग हुआ है वेन दैट हैज टू बी डन ऑलवेज वी हैव टू वी कैन वी शुड बी एबल टू ट्रेस आर स्टेप्स okay now when that can happen when we keep tracking the changes that we are doing while cleansing the data kai bar aisa hota hai ki hum third party ko de dete hain kyunki data handlers alag hote hain analyst generally alag hote hain so in that case uh, you know agar tra changes track nahi kiye gaye to what will happen next jab hum log sam uh, samajhne ki koshish karenge on what basis the cleansing has been done wo fir out of wo control hoga so tracking uh, the changes will be uh, you know one uh, best practice if we want the entire cleaning process to be transparent reproducible again usko fir se hame data chahiye raw data to wo and then auditable which is very very important when it comes to large businesses now here comes the question that uh, uh, throws some light on the types of data analytics so which of the following statements accurately describes the relationship between the four types of data analytics so already in highlight kar diya hai question mein hi that there are four major types of data analytics that include descriptive analytics diagnostic analytics predictive analytics and prescriptive analytics so in this case when we talk about inko bilkul hum log ek uh, टेबल में भी डाल सकते हैं ना बेस्ड ऑन देयर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स ये डिस्क्रिप्टिव हो गया ये डायग्नोस्टिक हो गया एंड दिस इज प्रेडिक्टिव एंड दिस इज प्रिस्क्रिप्टिव ओके नाउ व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट डिस्क्रिप्टिव एंड डायग्नोस्टिक हियर बोथ दीज एनालिटिक्स हेल्प ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अंडरस्टैंड द पास्ट एंड डायग्नाइज द कॉजेस फॉर दैट उतना तक ही 
okay and when we talk about predictive and prescriptive the name themselves suggest that these guide future strategies and optimize the outcomes so isse hame jo kya hua what happened wo samajh mein aayega what need what should be done wo hame samajh mein aayega predictive and prescriptive mein bahut basically main yahan pe aapko bata rahi hu okay in the coming questions we'll look into more into this uh, type of questions so yeah complexity also it keeps on increasing so sabse easy mean matlab less complex less value aapka descriptive hai to then it keeps on increasing usse zyada valuable and complex hai uh, diagnostic and diagnostic se zyada complex and valuable hai predictive and predictive se sabse highest aur sabse zyada valuable and complex hai prescriptive because as we go into the future outcomes kis tarah se hoga that will be able to look into this types so here when it comes to this question d is the correct answer so moving on to our next question it's a statement based question based on that you have to uh, give me the answer a company wants to identify the reasons cause behind the decline in customer retention rates which type of analytics would be would be most suitable for this purpose see uh, when we talk about a descriptive waha pe we are only trying to understand ओके क्या रॉन्ग हुआ ओके क्या रॉन्ग क्यों रॉन्ग नहीं हुआ नहीं क्या रॉन्ग हुआ व्हाट वेंट रॉन्ग बट व्हेन इट कम्स टू डायग्नोसिस लाइक नो डायग्नोस्टिक एनालिटिक्स जैसे कि डायग्नोसिस किसी कोई से कोई डिजीज हुआ है वी नो डिजीज है अब कौन सा डिजीज है राइट right? वो करना है तो वी हैव टू डायग्नोस वी हैव टू रन सम टेस्ट राइट सो इन दिस आल्सो इफ वी वांट टू रीजन व्हेनेवर वी टॉक अबाउट रीजन और रूट कॉज ऑफ एनी प्रॉब्लम so obviously we'll do some diagnosis right so that so here also in this case when they have want to identify reasons for any kind you know decline in customer retention rate decline in sales uh, stagnancy in sales uh, or uh, there is some change in sales whatever might be if they want to go for reasons definitely the best data analytics that they can use is the diagnostic analytics so here b is the correct answer So thank you very much friends uh, we'll meet in the next session very soon thanks a lot for being with me so patiently if you have any queries you can reach out to us anytime thank you very much once again